Hi everybody, this is John again. I um, just wanted to answer a couple of questions that I got this week specifically about using PowerPoint presentations with Google Docs and Google Presentations. And the quick and short answer for that is that you shouldn't and uh, you can't. Um, many people wanted to know uh, how they might be able to store their PowerPoint presentations online like they do their Word documents in Google Docs. And uh, currently Google Docs presentations does not support uh, audio so any presentations that have audio files uh, simply be stripped of that content um, very similar in a very similar way any custom graphics that you made uh, templates transitions animations things like that will also be lost when you upload your PowerPoint presentation to uh, Google Docs presentation so it's not really a recommended course of action to take uh, however, we found a, uh, or developed a, a kind of a workaround for that, and the basic idea is that you would create a screencast presentation of your PowerPoint, and then upload that to uh, YouTube, and then include that on your, um, on your presentation in Google Docs, if that's what you needed. The other way to do it is to just simply share that video of your presentation on your Edmodo account, or PBWorks, or even your Blogster account. So those are all good options once your presentation is created. So if you've got something you use for class and it's in the five minute range, um, you can certainly use a screener presentation or a Jing presentation. If it's longer than five minutes, you might have some difficulty there, or you could just break it up into a series of videos that will be in a more uh, usable format. So I've got my screener window up, ready to go and recording right now and I've got it approximately the size of my PowerPoint presentation so I can go into PowerPoint and swing over to slideshow and go from the beginning now this is a, a presentation that we created for uh, a fun review game for a sixth grade unit on volcanoes and so we created a, a parody of are you smart than a fifth grader for sixth grade students based on some trivia questions about volcanoes so I chopped this presentation down to only three slides just for this um, the screencast, but you could obviously expand it and uh, you know make it a little bit more substantial for for your own needs. So on the first slide we have the audio from the sixth grader uh, television show, and then we have some question music and answer music on subsequent slides. So we'll go ahead and start that, and you'll see how the audio will be embedded in this presentation too. So slide one from the beginning. Okay, and that's the theme music to your smarter than fifth grader, but we changed it to sixth grader because that's what our unit is about. So then we can just simply manually advance, manually advance the slides uh, in our presentation. So the first question in our game, kind of skipped ahead a little too quickly there, uh, is that the Himalayas are considered which type of mountain range, and then I have a couple of blocks over there. And then I'd obviously get the students to, to answer the question, and then you know, pop up the correct answer there in the, the default. Uh, question music there. So you can advance your slides as you go. When you get to the last slide you'll see the familiar end of slideshow. Click to exit and then you can click to exit or stop your screen or presentation just before you end the uh, end the slideshow right there on that black last frame. So that might be a way to get you know a presentation like this, a review game that you've created, spent a lot of time doing the animations and transitions and audio uh, in PowerPoint to get that online in a format that you can share. So just a quick tutorial, and again, you can copy that up to YouTube, grab the embed code or the hyperlink code, and then drop that on your Glogster presentation you know, for kids to review, send it to them via Edmodo, post it on PBWorks, or certainly uh, just link to it in Twitter or link to it in, uh, in YouTube uh, on your personal web page. Any of those are good options. Have fun with that. Good luck.